Good morning. James 3, verse 7 and 8. For every kind of beast and bird, of reptile and sea creature, can be tamed and has been tamed by mankind. But no human being can tame the tongue. It's a restless evil full of deadly poison. Um, this verse shouldn't give us no hope. I think when you read it first, you might go, well, if no one can tame the tongue, then Brian, why are you spending all of this time on these videos telling us that we need to tame our tongue? You're sending us upon a hopeless quest. Um, well, in one sense, if it's only you on the quest, then it probably is hopeless. I think Augustine gave a super interesting observation that's helpful here. Augustine conjectured that the, conjectured that the language that's used in these two verses was intended to point out that while no one among people, among humanity, could tame the tongue, God, by the working of his grace, could. Right? So think of the, the, the analogy that's before it, uh, every kind of beast. They, they've been tamed by mankind. Well, you, could, you can tame different wild beasts, but world news is riddled with stories of animals that ought not be pets that got out from their tamer or got out from the place that, uh, where they were being kept and killed people or destroyed people. Uh, you have pythons and snakes and tigers and things like that that have gotten out in, in different parts of the world and were one person's pet but became another's, um, uh, another's uh, predator. So I, I think what we need to recognize is the tongue is the kind of thing very difficult to control and impossible to control if it's only you. But grace. God can come alongside and help you control your tongue. So here's what that means. Practically it means you need to devote this member to prayer. You need to wake up and pray, Lord, help me today fall on your grace and guard my tongue. I will be tempted to react. Instead, Help me to not react, but respond, which means a measured way of engaging that which comes at me. Help me to be careful that I don't just um, give a volley back when it's sent to me. Instead, help me to control this member, because the only way I'll be able to do it is by your grace. See, the tongue teaches us that we need Christ. The tongue teaches us that we need the gospel. The tongue teaches us that we can't live by our own lights. May the Lord help us in this.